Hey everybody, let's get this onboarding journey started. And we're gonna start by looking at the FedNow service operating procedures when it comes to profiles. This is section nine of the FSOP, which is just short for the FedNow service operating procedures, which is just a whole mouthful of words I have to say. So FSOP, so much easier. First thing you have, well, you have the FedNow service profiles basics. As we know, the FedNow service is a platform, of course, for making instant payments and also for managing liquidity or the funds that are used for those payments. In the FedNow service, there are different entities that can play various roles within the system. So what are those roles within the FedNow service? First, we have the FedNow participant. The FedNow participant, that is one of the most important ones. This is a financial institution. It's going to be a bank or it's going to be a credit union. A FedNow participant will be the ones that are using the system to both send and receive, you know, instant payments, maybe even reports, possibly liquidity management transfers. And they're going to be doing that most likely on behalf of their account holders. Of course, a participant can choose to only receive payments and not do any of the other stuff. A FedNow participant must have the proper accounting details for payment processing. And what that means is that you must have a master account or access to a master account through another entity, like a correspondent. A what? That's another important role in the FedNow service, a correspondent. A correspondent is a financial institution that has a master account at the Federal Reserve Bank. But in this case, the correspondent helps another FedNow participant, which the participant they're helping, that's called a respondent. A correspondent helps the respondent. And how do they do this? By holding or by managing the master account on behalf of the respondent. So what they really do is the correspondent provides settlement services through their master account or manages a master account. A great example of a correspondent is like a banker's bank or a corporate credit union that is helping a community credit union or a community bank by giving use to their master account for FedNow transaction settlement. Correspondents may also provide services such as being a FedNow access point or like that assisting with liquidity management and of course that master account monitoring and balancing. Using a correspondent is an option for financial institutions that may not have a FedMaster account or for financial institutions that just don't want to manage everything themselves 24-7. Then there is a very important piece, very important role, the service provider. You can think of a service provider as an agent who works on behalf of a FedNow participant. Or better yet, think of them being like a fintech. It's a company, you know, like Pigeon. But it may also be another bank or a credit union, it's possible that provides services that help financial institutions in the use of the FedNow service. Now, a service provider, if you're using one, one of these things, very important for this role, it must be authorized by a FedNow participant. And that authorization is to be able to do things like to send and or receive messages or be able to manage the connection on behalf of the participant. Even organizations that aren't banks can be service providers. That's why I said think FinTechs. Now, when a service provider acts on behalf of a FedNow participant, they have to follow the same rules and the same procedures as that participant. And guess what? You can use more than one service provider. Mm -hmm. It's possible. You could have multiple service providers. And when using multiple service providers, you have options. A participant can use several service providers to help manage their operations, or let's say for different use cases on the FedNow services. A lot of different examples I can think of. Like maybe one service provider helps with business payments by providing that service. And then you have another service provider that you're using for the purpose of P2P or consumer payments. Just a couple examples. There's lots of different ones that are out there. If a participant does use multiple providers though, there are some things, like I said, you gotta be aware of. And that is, Service providers can use certain details and permissions of other service providers that are connected to the same participant. Also, service providers can receive reports of all activities for the correspondent that they're set up with, regardless of who processed the transactions. And service providers can view message details for all participant activities 
even if they didn't process those messages. Those, well, those are our main roles to be aware of when it comes to onboarding to the FedNow service. The ever important participant, the correspondents, possibly respondents too, and service providers. Uh, well, not to mention, of course, the FedNow service itself, very important, but we don't need to worry about them so much. Next, we're gonna look at setting up our profiles in the FedNow service. So for now, class dismissed.